Tootie, I'm gonna tell you the truth because I respect you and I think you're big enough to take it. Natalie, I need your insight. I know that you can be fair and objective. Okay. Uh, I guess the best place to start is, oh, I don't know, page one. <laughs> what? Some of the dialogue needs polishing, like the first line. <laughs> what about it? I have a little problem with Eleanor Roosevelt saying howdy, partners. <laughs> She's speaking to a group of strife-torn Midwestern farmers. She talked to them in their language. She was a woman of the people. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, was there anything else? Ah, yes, the second line. <laughs> what? You have her saying, a vote for my husband is a vote for you. What's wrong with that? Two votes for my husband are two votes for you. She's making a point. Three votes for my <laughs> husband. I know the play, Natalie. You don't have to read it to me. What else? Well, uh, then there's the part where she says Franklin got his idea for the New Deal while playing poker. <laughs> a humorous anecdote. He thought the Secretary of State was cheating, so he said, what we need is a new deal. <laughs> I get the idea that you don't like my play. It just needs some work. <laughs> the dialogue is stilted, the scene's overwritten, and I don't believe your character. I see. You wanted me to be honest. Thank you for your honesty. It's just my opinion. Oh, and I appreciate it. I know you won't mind if I get some other ones. Of course not. Then I'll give copies to Blair and Joe and see what they think. Thank you for your time. Come on, Tootie. Fine, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Any time. <laughs> Thank you. This has to stop. <laughs> What's that, Natalie? You're angry. I don't know what you're talking about. If you'll excuse me, I'm endeavoring to get to the oven. See? See what you're doing to me? I can't stand all this formality. I'm just doing my best to use the language properly. I know how you hate bad dialogue. Tootie, if you didn't want my opinion, why did you ask for it? Because I thought you could be objective. Your play needs a little work, a word changed here or there. Listen, I'll polish it up for you. You can judge for yourself. You don't even have to give me credit. Oh, I'd want to give you credit. After all, you'd be saving my play. Come on, Tootie, I wouldn't be saving it. It would be a lot better. Well, if you want to say I'm saving it. You know what the problem is? You're jealous. What? You can't stand the fact that I wrote a terrific play and you had nothing to do with it. And now you're trying to change a few words and put your name on it. Oh, did I say change a few words? I mean leave a few words, like the end. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, let me... No, I'll do it myself. <laughs> you want to take one of these? Blair, what did you think of mine? Loved it. Haven't read it yet. I'm just a kid. <laughs> loved it, huh? Could you be a little more specific? Well, specifically, I'd say I love the opening, the ending, and everything in between. Thank you. It's nice to know that some people can be objective. Uh, hey, I was thinking, if you're going to be using a set, I'd love to build it for you. I didn't know you could do that. Hey, I'm a Renaissance kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. What else could we do? You could have backed me up. Well, we tried to warn you. You told her something she didn't want to hear. What'd you expect? <laughs>